On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, progress right behind me once again, and also a major mistake based on some bad advice coming right up. Hey my friend, it's Check 6 Aviation back again at the out in the yard with the Airplane Factory version 1.0 right there. And uh, yeah, so uh, in the last episode where I revealed that maybe I had a, an $11,000 repair bill. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. You know, point, let's see, where, where am I pointing? Uh, one of these places here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, I went ahead and did it. Had uh, went ahead and left Dart Transit. Great company, by the way. You know, just some bad circumstances that happened. Uh, of course, any company that has a lease purchase program is going to want to tailor their their program to benefit the company more so than the driver. Some will be more fair than others. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. We're onwards and upwards here. I have actually accepted an offer of employment with Penske Logistics, Penske Transportation. Um, so hopefully, I'm starting here pretty soon. As I record this, it is Monday, the Monday before Christmas. So at the earliest, I'm looking to start uh, just after the, after the Christmas holiday. Uh, but I'll be doing local work. I'll be doing, going from here in Abilene to yeah, Lancaster, Texas, which is about a three hour drive. It's in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, doing a couple drops here and there in, in the DFW area and then coming back home. So um, on to the updates with the airplane factory. So I've gotten a little bit more of the trim work done. I've got the soffit complete on this side now I've got to do some trim work up there for yeah uh, to get the, the fascia boards up uh, I've got a few more of the rat I've got some ra rafters that I have to trim um, let's see oh yes and I have started on building the workbench and uh, working on fine-tuning the, the table length leg or the table leg lengths and also inside here all of the drywall is hung oh my god this is getting so close to being finished i can already hear the rivet gun going off so close but let me tell you about this a little nine dollar part sold separately from the box caused a lot of head scratching. Now, I am not an electrician, and but I do have uh, uh, some resources, some friends who are electricians, and the one electrician that I was constantly bugging for, to say, hey, listen, I need to know how to do this. Uh, what do I need? And he gave me a list of things to get, some conduit, didn't tell me what size, uh, said, well, for 100 amp service, you're only going to need uh, a one, you know, one out cable. Didn't tell me that. Well, I think he was thinking that I would only have one junction in here. Obviously, I have two right there. So I need to go ahead and run another one out cable. Um, but the problem is. I also need the neutral, the neutral cable here. Uh, now, from what I understand, that can either be the same size as the as the hot wire cable, or it can be one size smaller. Now, since I am doing a hundred amp service, uh, I can go two watt. The watt means that there is no other wires coming out. See, this is. This is, uh, what size is this? This is 12.3 uh, Romex. See, there's 
one, two, and three wires coming out of this one shield, this one, uh, this one wire. And that is held in there by, yeah, that is held in there and it's not moving. Now, I also had figured out that the conduit that I chose is not big enough. I mean, yes, I could get another wire down in there. I could get another wire down in there, but I need two wires, two more wires, probably about the same diameter as this. That is not gonna work. So I need to go ahead and dig up everything that I just laid and go a little bit larger which is not necessarily a bad thing because there was a section in there <coughs> where the conduit had sit, the conduit had sat out for a while in the sun and had kind of deformed and I wasn't happy with that because I want to do it right. Also you noticed in there that it was just sitting there up in the box. It wasn't it wasn't kind of clamped in there like it should be. You know, with, uh, you know, so that it, what, it's not going to move around at all. You know, I don't think it would move around anyway, but that means that I've got to cut into the drywall that I just put up. It's going to suck. But at the same time, I know that the way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to redo it. It would pass inspection if, you know, the city ever decided to go ahead and come in and say, hey, you know, it's going to be done right. And, you know, that's the way, that's the way it should be done. It should be done right the first time. But also, this is going to afford me the opportunity to really pad, you know, really get this down to where it's going to sit flush. I tried, I have cut this since. This, this, this grass grows really fast. I have cut this since and there have been uh, areas that have been kind of hard on the mower deck and uh, because they're they're kind of up high you know like right here right here the good thing about doing this over is that the, the dirt should be somewhat still loose so I shouldn't necessarily need to rent a mini excavator again, which will save me a lot of money. I could probably do it by hand, which will make the wife happy because I'll be getting some exercise, which I can then go ahead and channel that some of those funds into finishing up this project here. You know, getting some of the trim work done, getting some paint going, and uh, before you know it, be pounding rivets. Now, as far as the timeline goes, here we are at the end of 2022. We are, I, I can see the first rivet being pounded on the RV-10 somewhere in the first two months of 2023. Even if I have to get another extension cord and do and hold off on the cable because it's like five six dollars a foot for the one for the one aught it's insanely expensive it's like 300 bucks for 60 feet and that's how much cable i got the first time and then i think it's what about four or five dollars for the two aught so we're talking $350 for the one watt, about maybe $300 for the two watt, and that will go ahead and finish the electrical and get it done right. And I'll have power to all of my outlets there. My lights will work, I'll be able to work it during the at night. I've got enough materials though right now to where I can still keep busy. And because let's face it, I've got those seams that are in progress there on the drywall <laughs> which is interesting because we just had a 5.3 uh, 
on the Richter scale earthquake hit about maybe 150 miles away in Midland, Texas. So yeah, there, my, one of my buddies down in San Angelo felt it even. I felt it here. And he said he had some drywall cracking because of it. I looked here, I'm like, wait a minute. And I see a crack in the drywall but I don't, that I don't remember there being there before. So maybe I had some drywall cracking, I don't know. But anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Oh yeah. <coughs> um, so layout. Let's talk about layout right for a moment. So this bench, this workbench, will go right here against this wall. The shelving unit will go against the back wall over in the corner. After I get the all of the the corner, after I get the the seams taped up in the corner, you see I've got seams in the pro, in the process here. Uh, I've got to do that seam, the corner seam here, and uh, then over here we'll go the air compressor. Uh, that outlet there is a dedicated circuit for the air compressor. That outlet right there is the dedicated circuit for my air conditioner. And these three outlets here along the wall are dedicated cir circuits. Actually, no, they're, they're, it's, it's one dedicated circuit wired in parallel, series parallel? I, I'm not sure which, but you know, wired together for my power tools. You know, like the, the um, the grinder, the, the bandsaw, the drill press, etc. And then I've got lights up there with a light switch over here. And that outlet will be for my Vans aircraft light sign, light box. Which, and then I'll, yeah, which will be lit up whenever the lights are on. And I will have cameras in the corner, in two, in at least two of the corners, and maybe a camera here looking down on the workbench. Now, if there are any views, any certain views that you want to see from, you know, camera work while I'm pro, you know, while I'm working on the airplane, leave a comment down below. And I will do my best to accommodate you. Um, most of the work will be tedious. It will probably be um, you know, fast motion, um, like sped up. And because <clears throat> that seems to work very well for something like this. I just have to show that I was the one that did fit at least 51% of the work on the airplane. And so with that, Give us a like, subscribe, make sure you follow us on Instagram if you want the most up to date. Everything on Instagram is posted in real time. There is a bit of a lag. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little, over a little bit of the creeping crud here. There is a bit of a lag on YouTube here and also uh, Facebook as far as how you know how recent the content is um, with me being off the road now and home every night hopefully the content will start flowing a little bit easier and uh, be posting more often so with that love you guys peace always check your six and visit our merch store yeah gear dot check six dash aviation dot com to get yourself some really cool swag with that, peace.